Dungeons and Dragons is a tabletop RPG. It's normally been associated with nerds since about the 70s when it was initially created. Um, the game is mainly performed just by dice rolls. You can almost imagine it as like gambling essentially for nerds. You roll a dice and hope the numbers are in your favor um, to either succeed or fail in an encounter. The club initially started here in the, the makerspace. There was a old volunteer here. He graduated a few semesters ago. His name was Pinky. He basically printed dozens and dozens of figurines every day. If there was a printer that was not being used for anyone else, either for projects or personal uses, he would claim it. Uh, my character is a gnome and I was introduced after the campaign started, so I was just kind of inserted into the plot. And originally I was true neutral, but that's kind of gotten out of hand. My character's name is Dingus Pingus. He is a wizard, but he's going into necromancy because I'm just gonna raise the dead and just just fool around, just make it fun, you know? I'm Cameron Roebuck, I go by Green, that's my middle name though. Um, uh, my character, my I've got a kind of interesting character. The main one so far is uh, Pantalos. He's a pants goblin. He just steals pants. Um, that's like his thing. Uh, he's also like Groot. He can only say, I like pants. So it makes it hard to communicate with the rest of the party. A lot of the characters I enjoy playing as are your stereotypical heroes. The simple little farmer boy with, with the sword fighting whatever big bad is out there. The, the, main, the thing that I'm most proud about about my character is he has his own pirate ship now, but it's a forged boating license, so I kind of just hope nobody checks. I've never really played before, but I, I love it. I've always wanted to play for a really long time. A lot of people that come to our D&D sessions have no idea how to play Dungeons and Dragons. I mean, like most people, when you're picking up a new skill, you don't know anything about it, but we're always learning, willing to teach people how to play the game. Let me roll for perception real quick. Yeah. Oh! Seven. Oh, that's a one. Yeah. Wow! <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I mean, here at the, the Makerspace, I teach people every day how to use the equipment. Six minutes, and since it's zero print, again, I need you to press the big green button. I am the Dungeon Master. The Dungeon Master is kind of the... Oh. I'm, I'm just going to say the, the god of the game. I get to decide. Um, the adventures that the characters go on, the players. Uh, what so he beats that number and he clobbers down, successfully hitting you this time. Third time's a charm. I just kind of push the players into a general direction. You, you stare into this memory Who are you and playing? you realize there's nothing uh, really spectacular about this. It's literally just him kind of like deadpanning off in the distance, like he's just zoned out. I state what they can, can't do. Um, I tell them which dice they need to roll. Don't add a nap. Oh, oh, 19. You know, I would probably say yes, it, it is for nerds. It, it does take a special caliber of a person to play Dungeons and Dragons. You have to devote a certain amount of time in your schedule to sit down for maybe five, six hours to play a game. But you're playing with your friends. You're developing a lovely camaraderie with the people that you play with. <laughs> yes, you were just. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, some you get to explore, you know, who your character is and maybe could be a, a representation of yourself or what you would like to be out in the real world that you maybe don't have the courage to be truly out there.